Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Community Day Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. We're going to have Shadow Charizard and Shiny Blastoise. Actually it's a Shundo. Uh, I am actually working on an XL Blastoise. I just need to get more candies and actually an ideal one. So technically I'm not even working on one. I need to make one. <laughs> figure that situation out. Uh, this team's going to be pretty good. Week 2... Zapdos, we do a few other things uh, that I ran into, but uh, we'll make do. Just got a couple of battles here for you folks, short and sweet. If you do enjoy these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos that I have coming out. And with that said, Charizard's going to be putting in some work at a specific point. You're going to see this thing is amazing. Now, unfortunately for this team, the weak link, I do believe is going to be Blastoise. Venusaur is very spammy. Charizard is very usable with that fire typing. And the Blast Burn is just amazing up against so many things. Hydro Cannon is good too. We're going to be going for the Skull Bash here. So it has that going for it. We rose our attack. Fantastic. Shields are down. And we're going to take the win there. Now we ran into a few issues, folks. I'm not going to include all of them. Personally, it was happening to me too, where you just couldn't t attack. And when that happens, I just backed out. I mean, what's the point? I mean, it, it, there's nothing fishy going on. It's just straight up the server being busted. Let's get into the commentary. This is not that long of a video. We have an XL Steelix here up against our Venusaur. This is great. Unless they built up to an earthquake, that'd be a bit of a troublesome situation. They're going to retreat into a Drift Blend. We're going to go ahead and retreat into our Blastoise. And our Venusaur has a bunch of energy loaded up on it. So the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I just love doing these theme videos. Trainer Red here just... Uh, the old Game Boy games. I was talking about the difficulty settings. I was like, you know, let's go ahead and do Trainer Red again for like, the, I don't know, like the seventh time. <laughs> it's fun to do it. Anyways, up against Drift Flim here. We're going to go ahead and let this Shadow Ball go through. Blastoise is a pretty tanky thing, and I'm not trying to downplay it. I love it. Blastoise is amazing. And it definitely does have its positions here. So we're going to be bringing in the Charizard up against the Drift Flim, shielding up the Icy Wind because we are Shadow, and it would do a pretty good amount of damage. So they have two shields left. What is going on here? So we have them a champ. Okay, now it's on. Uh, our Venusaur has energy. We have to remember that. So what we're going to do is get the shield, swap, frenzy plant, take out that Machamp as soon as possible here. And they're going to be using their last shield, Radio. And I think we're actually going to be doing the same as well because we kind of need to just take this Venusaur to the end because of this energy we did build up. We want to take out this Machamp and then the Charizard is going to be able to go in here. They're not going to be able to farm too much, which is good. They did gain a bit of farm there, but that's fine. We are almost to a Blast Burn, and that's what we need to take this thing out because we're not going to be hitting no Dragon Claw up against an XL Steelix, getting to the Blast Burn, and we're taking the win with the Charizard. And this is not what I'm talking about, how it's going to be performing. I'm, I'm serious. Like, you know, the end credits that I put the Charizard, it just makes that come back with a sliver of health. Boy, <laughs> that's going to happen in these battles. Next battle, we're met with a Snorlax and comfortable matchup. Gotta love it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just Frenzy Plan, obviously. That's all you really do with the Venusaur here. And the thing about Venusaur that's so nice is that Vine Whip. You can farm up energy so fast, and Frenzy Plant hurts so bad, even if you resist it. Unless you're a Skarmory, uh, that's a different story. Uh, but for the most part, everything's going to be going to be taking a lot of damage from it, right? All right, so what do we do? Shield this up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that because we're going to be able to outpace it. I'm pretty sure we were going to. I got a little nervous thinking that they might get to one, but there's no way that that was going to happen here. We're going for the Frenzy Plant, taking out that Snorlax. They're coming in with a Galarian Stun Fisk, and that, that's a good sign for me. All right, so the Pokemon in the back can handle this, but we're going to be going in here with the Blastoise. So this is a situation where it is actually going to be coming in handy because it is a bulky Pokemon. And this is a Shundo, so <laughs> not ideal for what you would want to run in the Ultra League. Definitely want that lower attack. You're going to be using around 180 XL candies. I'm th that's a rough estimate as to how many you would probably be investing in in an ideal IV uh, Ultra League Blastoise. So they're going to be swapping into a Sylveon and... This is that rock, paper, scissors. We just have the perfect Pokemon to line up with theirs here. So we're going for the Blast Burn, and they maybe thought we were going to bait, and we're going to be able to take the win there. Looking good. Moving on to the next battle here. I'm pretty sure this is the one where Charizard just absolutely goes on a rampage. So this is a good lead for us. Okay, so technically everything that we have on our team is going to not mind going up against Scrafty. The only thing that's going to be mostly the worst matchup is going to be Blastoise because it's not taking resisted damage from the counters as opposed to the Venusaur and the Charizard. So we're going to go ahead and go for another Frenzy Plant here, shielding up the uh, Foul Play correctly, so very nice. And we're going to let this go through absolutely no problem. Hit us with that Foul Play, and we're going to go ahead and go for another Frenzy. If you want to double shield that 
Uh, Scrafty, by all means, be my guest. They're letting it go. Bringing in a Mewtwo to farm us down with that confusion. And I'm getting, I'm not quite nervous, but I'm thinking, okay, I'm sorry. Bring in the Blastoise. Let's go. Now, as much as I wanted to go for the Skullbash, don't think it was within my best interest. Although, even if I did go for it, as you're going to see here, it wouldn't have been a bad idea. Because they're going to be letting this go through. Hydro Cannon, alright, doing some good damage. Getting to another Hydro Cannon. Do you want to protect that Mewtwo or shield it up? Okay, so that makes me... Do I, do I shield this? No, we're going to let it go down and farm down with the Charizard. Here is Charizard's Rampage. So here we go. They're swapping. And I saw the Jellison and I'm thinking, oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to do this, but Blast Burn. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Holding on to that last shield was key. And Charizard's Rage is going to be shining here. So we're going to shield up that Ice Beam, getting to another Blast Burn. And I'm looking at the health thinking, yeah, we got this. And we're going to be able to farm down. Come on, come on, come on. No Ice Beam. Bam. Taking him out. Charizard's on fire. In comes the Mewtwo and we go for the Dragon Claw to take the win. Now that was pretty good because, I mean, that was a freaking XL Jellison. Okay. Okay. A Charizard. All right. Yeah. I know I had energy, a little bit of energy maybe and uh, shield, but still that was awesome. So we're going to be met with the probably most worst lead as possible. I mean, eh. Fires are going to be a lot worse, but yeah, that thing's resisting our grass quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Blastoise because if we bring in Charizard, they have a fire counter. <laughs> they have one in the back. So that's great. We wanted them to shield up and retreat. That is perfect. And there's their fire counter. It's going to be the Gyarados. And so we're going to be bringing in the Venusaur as soon as this does go down. I mean, that's all we can do. I don't think Skull Bash, that wasn't happening. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and bring in the Venusaur. Unfortunately, no energy built up at this time. So we're going to call this. We're going to go ahead and call a crunch. Okay, good on us. It is a Shadow Gyarados. So we'll be doing a little bit more damage that we don't want to really see here. I'm going to go ahead and go for that Frenzy Plant. This is going to take it out. I mean, it's almost going to take it out at full health. <laughs> so what you're going to come back into the battle with here? All right, Escavalier, of course. We're going to instantly swap. And there is that Lapras. And knew that this was going to happen. They had two counters to fire, of course, because it is so weak to fire. So look at that. Okay, so that was our downfall there. And I have to give them credit where credit is due. They called it correctly. And I do believe that was their win con to call the Dragon Claw bait. So it's only, I mean, I'm not going to go for Blast Burn because I figure they're going to shield it. So if we went for the Blast Burn, we got it through beautiful. And then we would have been able to just farm down. And then it, you know, Venusaur doesn't, it doesn't really matter. We could have gotten to a Sludge Bomb or something like that. But Charizard would have done so much with the Fire Spin, but they played it very well uh at the end there with that lapras so a uh, good game to my opponent here and they're going to be able to take us out with a mega horn big damage well done good game Alrighty. yeah this team it was fun you know it's not the worst it's not the best but it does definitely have a lot of weaknesses that you really can't pull out of too much sometimes uh so we're going to see a crobat horrible lead probably yeah there's another one of the worst leads that you want to want to see as venusaur swapping into our blastoist and they're going to be bringing in a scrafty here and this is fine we are going to go ahead and let this go through. We don't really need to shield up Blastoise too much because it is pretty uh, defensive. It can take hits quite nicely. Going to go ahead and go for that Hydro Cannon. We're getting a shield, which is great. And they're throwing their energy. I was just thinking that they were going to try to farm down, which would have been a little bit of a worse situation. But they're going for a Power Punch. So, I mean, that's still not the best because now their Foul Play is going to be doing a ton of damage. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Venusaur here because we at least... I mean, the Charizard resists the counters as well but it's shadow squishier so i figured take that damage come in with charizard and farm down we still have two shields can we pull ourselves out of the situation here and they're going to be bringing in that crobat we're going to go instantly for the blast burn because we are ahead and if they're coming in with that i mean i don't know what's in the back we'll see all right so they're letting the blast burn go through that's great we're shielding it up using our first shield and they have that escavalier all right so this is good for us, but look at the damage that they're doing. I mean, their counter damage is ridiculous, and this is going to be the end of the video. So if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, short and sweet, bringing you that old school red, blue, and green, which was never released in America for some reason. Thank you for watching, and take care. government. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes.
you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. 